What we doing today? We're gonna keep it mid temp, cut the bed straight, keep the wave up. YouTube, what's going on? We just gonna dive right into it. As you can tell, a prepped head is always the best head to cut. So that's why I'm combing my client's hair. You know, just brush, combing everything out to get the hair from laying down. So when I shave, it can give a good clean shave. Here I'm using my Stylecraft Instincts simply because I feel like when it comes down to waivers, it give a nice clean cut. You know, I don't have any detachables yet, but that will be my next, you know, set of clippers I buy. But for the most part, I use my instincts when it's time to deal with a waiver because it lays the waves down perfectly for me. Waivers can consist of a one and a half or a number one. Sometimes they're two depending on the thickness or the softness of a client's head. Yeah, I'm just following, you know, I'm just following through whichever the direction of the waves grow from a, around his crown. I like to do this because I like to stay off the crown because if I cut down too much of the crown, it might, you know, be a bald spot or look like a, you know, too much of a light spot. You know, sometimes when you when you do that, you know, you can all you can't get back the hair that you took off. You know, but for the most part, I want to set this. I wanted to set this video on a tutorial of the Babbless Pro Limited Edition FX1, the Nightfall Clippers and Trimmer Bundle. You know, simply because my last video was the, what I used, the Andy's Masters Black Label. So here I'm going in with my low pros. Um, I got a blue FX blade on here. I feel like the standard blades are the best blades for me. So I don't go deep 2.0 or, you know, just a digital gap blade. I love standard 2, so that's convenient for me. Yeah, I just created a rainbow like guideline. I'm taking my full shaver just to clean up all the inside heads, you know, to create that transition look when it's time to blend it. These are the clippers I'm talking about. These are the Nightfall clippers, the FX ones. If you don't have a pair, go get a pair. Here I'm going up a finger's width lever all the way open. You know, now I'm closing it, knocking out that guideline that I set. And these clippers are beautiful. They're beautiful. They're cut nice and everything. Yeah, I'm going to level halfway close and I'm just going halfway up that guideline just to, you know, create some transition, some blur, you know, some blurriness. Same thing with the beard area. Just repeated my steps, but took it down. You know, I'm not fading up, I'm fading down now. So, here, yeah, I could have used my 0.5 first, but I didn't want to take off too much of the hair because the hair is already close. So, I want to loosen up some of the hair with my number one. So, I'm using my number one to create a rainbow like guideline right over top of the no guard that we use and I'm going to level all the way close and loosen up the line as well you know just ensuring that it's tra some transition and as you can see I'm just flowing through like these clippers these clippers are everything like you know the motor the runtime you know the way they fell on my hand you know they're, they're, they're not too heavy they, they just right you know, as I said on the bed, you do the same thing, but you be risking your steps going towards, you know, the jawline. And it's coming together clean. You don't want to take too much of, of the hair off because you will not be able to get it back. You know, and that's why I use the number one first. See, I'm using my .5 though. Um, I'm going level halfway close and just hitting that, that line, you know, just to create some transition. And that's coming together dope. Like, it's pretty good, man. Yep, it's pretty good looking good as you can see it's some blurry in the store that look good as you can see I'm not fighting with the client skin fighting with his hair you know jacking my hand up you know it just pretty much look good now I'm putting my guy on my low pros these are not the low pros FX um, the trimmer bundle but we will get there um, I, just, I didn't have my camera recording so you know I just blended up from the 0.5 and the number one and here on out you know I'm using the 0.5 right here you know which is a 1 16th you know majority of the newer clippers might say a zero guard but it's, it's all the same thing as you can see that back neck tape will look good as you can see he got like a crease in the back of his head right here so you ensure that if you can get the hair out that crease of your client to any of your clients that come out here like that because majority of the people don't mess with it no you still got a dip and dab in there you still got to detail it and if you detail it how you should, your client will always come back because not all barbers, you know, tend to mess with it. Yeah, I'm knocking out that, that hard line, you know, with my one and a half. I didn't want to use a number one because it might have cut you close. So, 
you know, I wanted to use my one and a half first and just be balking. You know, as you can see, that it's coming together. It's coming together. It's pretty clean. That's clean. Yeah, that's clean. And like I said, these are the limited edition FX1 low pros. These are the Nightfall Clipper and Tremors that I'm using in this video. Not these Tremors. These are the original low pros. You know, I just... I gotta upgrade my low pros from, you know, just not being my hitters. Like, these are not my hitters. So, you know, that's why, I, you know, just kept them around and, you know, I like them. Like, any blade I put on them, like, is a Babless blade. I love Babless everything. You know, Babless is my go to, you know. Not an Andes or Wall type of guy, you know. Babless members are my go to. Y'all know this my size, so I'm just gonna talk to y'all a lot about, you know, how I'm coming and, you know, just making money and things like that, generating new clients, more clients, you know, just staying consistent. You know, everything is about consistency, and y'all know that. Y'all know I preach that a lot, consistency, a lot. You know, I just, as you can see, the white stand in the background is my snack stand. You know, I just ain't, I, I didn't really, you know, settle in and lock in with my suite yet. I'm just taking everything in you know I coming from a hood barbershop within seven months and you know being able to survive and dug it out with your clients you know in a, in a suite with a bullfriend hire and you know just it's, it's, it's amazing like I said you just gotta stay consistent stay consistent no matter what stay consistent you know be true to your clients you know um ensure that you're giving them more in value than they're give you, giving you in dollar again more in value give your clients more in value than they give you in dollar because that i always have them coming back you know if that always have them coming back then you can't change up nothing you can't do nothing you can't give them nothing less than what you've been giving them it always got to be more so that's what keeps me generating more clients and keeping me busy as a, as, a, as a barber. You know, I'm busy. I'm a busy barber. I might can't get to all my clients, but I level my days out to make sure I can because I once got these clients because their barbers weren't available. So, you know, that's just how that go. So without further ado, let's lock back in. Yeah, I'm going in with my whole spray on this hairline. You know, after I, I already um gave them hot lather, this is how you clean the skin properly, clean the excess oils and everything. And I'm going to show you why I say use the hot lava and clean the skin out um, later down in this video because I will show y'all my guys my waterproof enhancement. I will show y'all that. It, the truth. It's the truth. And I'm not sure if you can do it with every enhancement, but to get longevity, I will. I would always hot lava my client. You know, you could use barber soul, but it's nothing like hot lava. And as you can see, I'm lining them up with the trimmer bundle. These are the trimmer nightfall editions. And these things slap. Like I said, I got a blue FX blade on these. Now these are my hitters. They're gap definitely. They're super gap. You know, they they hitting. Just look, they're hitting. They hitting. As you can see, with the holding spray and the hot lava, it just give a cleaner shave. As you can see when I turn them sideways. Look at this. Oh uh, ash line. Oh uh, ash line. I'm just dipping and dabbing, dipping and dabbing. I'm not even pressing my client's skin hard. You know, I'm not digging into the skin or anything. I'm not making them feel uncomfortable, irritable, or anything. As you can see, that's just from hot lava, holding spray, and just cleaning his skin properly. As you can see, that's just an ash line. I could have left this cut natural, but my guy, he loves enhancement. So what I did, I followed my client's direction. I gave him enhancement. As you can see, these things are hitting. They're hitting on all levels. I need to come up with a, a slogan for these clippers, these trimmers hitting the way they are. The way they are, they like it's it's, it's they're hitting, they're hitting. Now I'm going to my waterproof enhancements with my Beam Team Coilless Compressor. Shout out to Brent Beam. I had to buy the compressor simply because it wasn't anything else that I felt more valuable to me, valuable to me besides buying this compressor. And I love every inch of my compressor every inch of my compressor shout out to bane y'all if y'all don't know him go check his work out it's get bane that's who inspired me yeah i'm just enhancing the back you know just to give it some better pop some better flair you know and then when it's all said and done when everything dry up it'll look so good so right now everything hasn't fully dried up but once it dries up you'll see you'll notice a difference but then just a cut as you see, I'm enhancing still. I'm enhancing. I'm enhancing. 
get my client right, I'm enhancing. You know, this is what he wanted. He wanted the hands. The hands cut. That look good. That look good. Here I'm going with the back. And I also have a new technique that I wanted to show you guys. And it's coming up right here. Normally I would lay the pencil down. I like laying the pencil down. But if you don't like laying the pencil down and you don't want to mess with the hairline or anything, you can draw your pencil on just exactly how I'm doing. Yes, exactly how I'm doing. Just like this. Grab your trimmers. Tap while the motor is running. You tap and, and get some of that pencil off. And you go over the hairline just like that. Now, once it lays on the hairline, now you can, you know, shrivel it up. You know, you can make it look like something. You can blend it out. And that look good. Look at that. That look good. That look good. It had been the same size as a regular pencil if you was the, you know, regular tracing. Here, I'm just, you know, creating my points right here. I'm just creating my reference point A to B and then coming back with C, you know. Look, that looks so good. As you can see, I'm connecting it. Even even though my beard level, you know, allows me to do it, I'm still connected. I'm still connecting it. And the only reason why I wouldn't do it this way is simply because I, me personally, and it's just a preference thing. Me personally, I do not like putting my tremors on guys like beards, beard areas, and, and things of that nature. You know, I, I just love using razor work down there, but you know, I just want to show y'all guys another technique. And I'm going to show y'all why it's key to prep the skin. And this is not the same client, but this is my client that hopped out right after. And he got wave, a wavelength cut too. So as you can see, my water, my enhancements are waterproof. You know, this is for longevity. This is for longevity. You know, as I'm wiping it. As I'm wiping it, nothing's coming off. Nothing's coming off. The haircut is still intact. You know, that's this is an enhanced cut. Nothing's on a glove. You know, look. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Prep them skins, prep them guys' skins, y'all. Prep them. Go ahead, tell the camera how you feel about it. <laughs> he'll never, he'll never miss. <laughs> I'll never what? He'll never miss. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Point. And as you can see, we got guys coming in the shop looking completely like this. But it's our job as Bob the transition. Let's get it. All 2024, I told y'all I'm coming harder. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you don't already. And I appreciate all the support y'all have given me thus far. Without further ado, let's 